Thanks, Mike. So uh, Democrats continue to push uh, this tax and spending bill, and they're doing it at a time when inflation is high, and this bill is just going to increase inflation. You saw in the last month uh, that inflation was uh, over 6% on an annualized basis. I come from the Midwest. It's actually over 7% on an annual annualized basis. And so we know inflation is a tax on everybody. Inflation is a tax on everybody, on your food, on your fuel, on your housing, you name it. But it hits low-income people the hardest. So it's a tax on everybody, but it hits low-income people the hardest. Now Democrats want to double down on that. And by increasing taxes and increasing regulation, they're also running the risk of putting our economy in stagflation, something that we haven't seen since the late 70s and early 80s. And that really undermines the wages of working people. Now, on top of all that, on top of that, on, on top of inflation, on people who can least afford to pay it and making it worse and continuing to disrupt the supply chain with regulations and higher taxes, they've decided to give their wealthy friends in New York and California a big tax break. They're going to raise the SALT deduction, uh, the deduction for local property taxes, from 10 percent to 80 percent. So they're going to give a big break to their friends in California and uh, New York, the wealthiest people, will they increase inflation, will they make it more difficult for low-income people across this country. Makes no sense. Makes absolutely no sense. And people need to understand that. They need to understand that, and they need to call their senator, and they need to call their House member and say, stop that. We do not want that big tax and spin bill that will make things worse, particularly for low-income people. And we want to get back to the kind of policies that uh, grow our economy, that solve the supply chain disruptions, and that create more opportunity.